Let's take a look at three different bit options for template routing. Here's a flush trim bit, a pattern bit, and a double bearing flush trim bit. I've also got a template attached to a workpiece here. Now a flush trim bit has a bearing on the tip and its diameter matches the diameter of the cutters. The bearing rides along the edge of the template and the cutters trim off the excess waste on the workpiece. It's probably the most common template routing bit. The difference with a pattern bit is the bearing is mounted to the shank of the bit rather than the tip. If you're using a pattern bit in a handheld router, the template has to be on top of the workpiece so the bearing can follow it that way. And if you're using a pattern bit in a router table, the template has to be on the bottom of the workpiece for the same reason, so the bearing can reach it there. My favorite template routing bit is actually the double bearing flush trim bit, and here's why. It doesn't matter if the template is on top or the bottom because the bit has two bearings on it that can reach it either way. If the template is on the bottom, you can raise the bit and use the bottom bearing to follow the template. And if the template is on top, you can lower the bit to use the top bearing to follow the template instead.